Hey you guys, I am so hungry. I'm going to make some hot wings, some dirty rice, some spinach and artichoke dip. I already made a banana pudding. So I have the banana pudding ready to go. I'm also going to make a huge salad as well as some pretzel bread. I was gonna say French bread, but it's actually pretzel bread. So I'm gonna start frying these chicken wings and get the dirty rice going because we've gotta eat tonight. Did I ever show y'all my crusty crab sign? This is actually Taylor's, but she left it when she moved and I had to just put it here in the kitchen. I love it so much. So I gotta hurry because the oil is really, really hot and I need to get these hot wings well, these chicken wings going. everything all in here. The artichokes are in here, the mayo, the sour cream, the parmesan, mozzarella. So it's one cup of mo mozzarella, quarter cup of parmesan cheese, a quarter cup of mayo, an eight ounce, is it eight ounce or 16 ounce Philadelphia cream cheese, whatever size that little square of cream cheese is. That I also add, um, I also add like three shakes of hot sauce, any kind of hot sauce, cheap hot sauce, it doesn't matter, just to give it some flavor. Um, and the 10 ounce square of spinach, this is actually whole leaf spinach, I prefer to get the chopped spinach, so I actually just chopped it up after I squeezed all the water. So here's the first round of chicken. It doesn't have to be done all the way because I'm gonna dredge it in, I'm gonna dredge it in the Louisiana wing sauce and then I'm gonna bake it for about 10 or 15 minutes. So I'm gonna just put the second batch in and I'll show y'all how it turns out. Forgive me for looking crazy, I'm, I'm tired. Tired and hungry, hungry and tired. Ready to bake. So this is my first time using the Louisiana wing sauce, but I mean, I think it's gonna be good. I mean, it's Louisiana, right? I know there's hotter out there and spicier, but this should be fine for us. Should have mixed in that bowl, but I've been cooking so much stuff, I, I ain't even think about a bowl. I should have used a bowl, but you know, I've been cooking everything today. I just you know, just get my mind, whatever. I'm put on this foil, and when they, when it's all said and done, we, I'm gonna lift it right up off of here and throw it in the trash. Cause I like convenience. I can't 
I mean, I wash a lot of dishes, so the less, I mean, I have a dishwasher, but I'm old school, you know, I'm old and old and old school. So I just do whatever is the most convenient for me. And it looks like they are all coated. So I'm just gonna stick them in the oven and let them bake for another um, 10 or 12, 15 minutes or so, just till the, you know, sauce gets kind of sticky. I don't like just the stickiness to them. That's just my preference. Um, and actually, this is the second time I've made spinach and artichoke dip in a week. My daughter loves that. My baby, Raven, she loves it. And she had been asking me to make it for like two months. And I hadn't gotten around to it. So I made it and it went so fast. Like she almost ate the whole pan by herself. So I decided I was going to make another one for her today. My son, you know, since the baby came, he's been ripping and running back and forth to the hospital and trying to take care of his wife and so on and so forth. And so he, I mean, he hasn't been eating like he should. And I just wanted everybody to just be full and satiated and happy. The dirty rice is coming along. So probably about five or eight more minutes for this. Guys, I'm just gonna make some tortilla chips for the spinach and artichoke dip. And I just cut these into quarters or sometimes six and just fry them in oil for like 45 seconds to a minute. I'll show you how they come out. <laughs> 